Okay, as you can see, the boat continues to get closer and closer to that wall over there. It's on an angle. It must be stuck on the beach. We've got three guys over here with a rope. When he goes, they're gonna pull against it in hopes of pulling the boat this direction. Woo, he's swinging really fast. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, sadly, summer is coming to an end, which is making us all really sad, but we're excited for a brand new school year. We're getting everything ready for the new school year over here. We've got a new high schooler, we've got two new middle schoolers, and we've got a third grader over here who's helping me do all of the school supply shopping. Ava loves school supply shopping more than any of the kids. And she's been helping me do some school supply shopping from a place that I just started shopping at this year. I wanna share with you guys. It's called Timu. Timu is an online marketplace that offers competitively priced products in all sorts of categories. It has recently seen a lot of success. It's the number one downloaded app right now. Ava helped me do some back to school shopping and we found some really cool things at Timu. Some really cute pens. Looks like cute these erasers are. These are grapes. These are oranges. Ava, show them your favorite thing that came. My favorite thing, there's two things. Okay. Like everything actually. So there's these really cute pens. 240 of them. 240 gel pens. Should we open them up real quick? I literally haven't even seen them. Look at these. <laughs> they are so yeah! <laughs> and then we found some cute notebooks, bookmarks, we got page markers. We've got a memory card, a calendar. We even got this because this is so important when we get ready for school in the morning. We got makeup. some little makeup sponges. We even found a paper cutter. We even bought something for a future white elephant gift. Want to show them? <laughs> My very Bob <laughs> Open that up. They had all sorts of funny blankets. This is mine, I'm sleeping. <laughs> Timu has all sorts of things, every category you could think of, high quality, affordable prices. They have free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days, which I love. So if I order something and it's not exactly what I expected it to be, I love that I have the option of being able to return it. They accept all major credit cards. They even have a price protection policy. So if a price drops within 30 days, they'll price adjust it for you. I shopped all sorts of items. I got things for the kitchen, a knife sharpener. I got a big power strip for the family room. I got something for the grill cook vegetables on the grill, all sorts of stuff. And I'll be honest with you, I was shocked at how affordable the prices were. Go check them out. You can check out the link in the description box to download the Timu app to your phone. Downloading the app just gives you a smoother shopping experience. After downloading the app, you can use the code to get a free $100 coupon bundle. Okay, you guys, after an incredible week in Lake Powell, we are heading home today. We're packing up our bags and we're pulling the anchors and heading home. We got up early. The idea with pulling a houseboat back to the marina is to get an early start, number one, because then you're not dealing with any wind <laughs> as the wind's blowing my hair. We're getting a light wind, nothing crazy. But we were hoping we would have no wind. We parked in by far our very favorite spot we've ever parked a houseboat on in Lake Powell. We're in Face Canyon. We're just in this perfect little cove surrounded by the rocks. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh shoot, here comes a boat to give us more waves. The tricky thing is to get into those perfect little coves is not the easiest maneuver because if you have any sort of wind, it can push you into the rock. So on the way in, it's quite the adventure. We had a lot more men getting onto the beach, but we had people doing bumpers with the jet skis. We had tons of people on the beach. We had to pull in a couple of times. So hopefully getting off the beach will be easier, but the water has lowered by about a foot. You can kind of see that we're higher on the front side than we are in the back. That is not what we looked like when we pulled in. The water has lowered. So I'm hoping that we'll pull right off the beach we're not beached on that front side. But the biggest thing is that we just don't want to fly towards that wall over there. That could be catastrophic. So my job is the ski boat, which isn't very much help at all. Not any help to anyone over there on the beach. So I just stand over here and pray that everything's gonna go well. It's a little stressful. Ashton and Trey are over here manning the jet skis. So we've got Eric, 
Justin, Turin, and Elise on the houseboat. That's all the manpower we have over there. Here we go. Oh, we're moving. We just need to stay away from the rock. So we obviously have the giant rock wall on the left, but on the right side, there's a big rock in the water. So it's a tight squeeze getting out of here. Justin called over the jet skis, had them give him a little nudge away from the wall, hoping that it's now gonna be smooth sailing. Can't tell if it's still beached. Didn't work. Didn't work. Shoot. Okay, as you can see, the boat continues to get closer and closer to that wall over there. It's on an angle. It must be stuck on the beach. We've got three guys over here with a rope. When he goes, they're gonna pull against it in hopes of pulling the boat this direction. You can see it coming out farther. They're pulling. Oh, it's working, it's working. It's working. Seems like that dislodged us just enough that he can now get it to turn that direction. off the beach. Now they're trying to guide him. He's kind of cruising. Woo. He's swinging really fast. I think he's gonna clear it. Hallelujah. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That does not look good. Oh my gosh. He did not clear that by a lot. in the boat and I think we're set. Captain Lando over here at the helm. Give it a honk, Lando, right here. Oh, no. Push. At a boy. <laughs> Son makes me look like an old man over here. Yeah, you are. His beard. I look, just look like a. I look really old right now, don't I? Almost okay. Yeah. I am almost forty. Honey, I'm old. Uh, so we will have you all go check in with Lindsay and Turin because we are in the waiting room here. We are the emergency room. It's not an emergency. It's the only place that's open. We are in Canab, and we needed to go to some sort of medical attention because Turin, with his scooter accident that he had, which I'm pretty sure we spoke to you guys about, he was in this honestly really bad like electric scooter accident. Thank heavens it wasn't. He was going pretty fast. Thank heavens it wasn't worse, but he got scraped up really, really bad before the trip, Lake Powell. Anyway, long story short, one of the deep wounds on his elbow got terribly infected. Honestly, just last couple days we've noticed it to where it has spread the infection. It seems like it's spreading where it's going up his arm. Like it's his arm is red, like up through his bicep and honestly onto his forearm. So it looks, it looks like it's getting worse, which in that, you know, situation, you definitely want to get some medical attention and we're just far from it. Go ahead. He's banded, like he has this bright stuff oozing out of his band-aid. Yeah. It's so gross. Gross. <laughs> that is really gross, actually. Hi, Ash. <laughs> anyway, so Lindsay just went back with him, and so we're just sitting here. It is a Saturday evening. There is no urgent care in Kanab, Utah. And so no four hours away from home. Yeah, and we're here. We're really far from home. So, it's gonna be a long one, but 
There's I no think one obviously here. he's going to be okay. But yeah, so that's kind of an update. We had an amazing trip though, didn't we? Mm-hmm. A really good trip, right? Well, Turin couldn't do most of the stuff. Turin did everything. What are you talking about? Well, he couldn't jump off the houseboat. Yes, he could. He did? I'll, I'll be honest. I don't think Turin's wounds slowed him down just until the last couple of days. And honestly, it was really, it kind of hurt. Like, his arm was tender to the touch. It, like, kind of hurt to, like, squeeze. And obviously, the wound would hurt, but, like, even just, like, where up above the wound, even right. even known to his form, it started to get kind of red and it hurt. So, we're going to wait patiently here. And uh, Ash has got his show over here. Ava's not picking it up. Looks like he was. <laughs> Lando's wandering and I'm chilling here. So, Lando, get over here. Where'd he go? What door did he open up? Probably going down the elevator. I'm <laughs> joking. Well, weren't planning on being here today. <laughs> so, we're in Canab at the Canab emergency room. Thankfully, nobody else is here. But there's like five cars. <laughs> we almost made it through the whole trip. And truthfully, I'm feeling grateful because this could have happened when we were in the middle of nowhere. The start yeah. The trip. I'm glad I haven't been there. It's not super easy to get to an emergency room when you're out in the middle of the lake. So, as you guys all know, Turin got in his scooter, his electric scooter accident, got thrown off the scooter the night before we left for Powell. Such a lame way to crash. <laughs> I'm gonna make it! He's doing it! He's doing it! He's really doing it! Wait, wait! wait. wait. It looks like he's falling over! Got pretty beat up, road rash everywhere. We have been taking really good care of these wounds the entire trip. We just cleaned them so much. Every night, cleaning them, rebandaging them, putting on Neosporin. And finally, last night, the infection won. He has, a, he has a deeper wound on his elbow. It's much deeper than anything else that he has, but literally he has road rash from his shoulders all the way down to his toes, no joke. Yeah. How many do you think you have? I counted them, I think I have 14. <laughs> it's actually been kind of a lot of work to take care of them. It's not that it's hard, there's just so many of them. So yeah, many, too. and we've gone through probably 20 boxes of Band-Aids. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> probably somewhere around that. Tons of that, tons of the spray that you clean it with. But he has one on his elbow that is significantly deeper than all the rest of them. And uh, last night it was swollen, it was getting red, and it was starting to pus really bad. So we cleaned it out really well and it's painful. I mean, we that put alcohol, alcohol on it. Oh. You feel that good. <laughs> I was dying for him. It looks nasty. It's, Should we it's show him? No. I mean, I don't know. You can't, it's it, doesn't, not even it doesn't even do it justice though. The camera, that does not even. Hey, ready? So um, the reason why. Nasty. Oh, I'm going to be oh. sick. I'm going to puke. So it's a Saturday, so there are no urgent cares open anywhere. And by the time we got to an urgent care, it would have been closed the ones closer to home. The drive home is really a bunch of small towns. So our best option was to come to the Kanab emergency room, which is uh, quite a bit more expensive, but <laughs> it's our only option. And uh, we're, we're, I'm thinking they're probably going to drain it. I don't know for sure. For sure get him on an antibiotic. I'm wondering if they're gonna do an antibiotic shot. No, we'll because see. The reason we brought him in is because the redness was spreading and it's just something you don't want to take any I chances swear, on. It stopped though, spreading. Yeah, so just a long stop. drive home. Tomorrow, Sunday, so. We're gonna find out what we need to do to get this guy <laughs> feeling better. Every nurse that comes in here talks about how absolutely terrible it looks. <laughs> They're like, oh, that's a bad one. They said it's gonna take two months for it to get back. For it to get like... Skin level. Yeah, we were asking the, it's a long time. the doctor who came in here when it's gonna be at the same level as his other skin because it's like this deep, hollow hole in his arm. She said two months, she said it just heals from the inside out. People. They didn't cut your arm off? No amputation needed today. We well, were kind of hoping that they would cut his arm off. What did you get? <laughs> She got a little souvenir. Guys, we have patiently been waiting here for this guy. Right. We're glad he, oh, no apology in a We are glad he is fine. We are hoping for a mannequin arm. Well, I have been. I have been <laughs> entertaining this person here. He's been self-entertained. He has been self-entertained. You, on the other hand, are quite a lot of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I was really doing him. Okay, so real quick, how are you feeling? You feeling good? Great. Okay, ready to go? Got your antibiotic? Was it a shot or a pill? No. Oh, really? She gave me pills. They like swapped it. So she gave me pills and then she swapped it and then she gave me like a lab. Nice. Yeah. I thought they'd give you a shot for sure. Okay, what was it, amoxicillin? No idea. Yeah. I have to ask mom. Okay, well, home we go. Home we go. Okay, sorry. Mom died. We're all in the car on her way home. Finally, at last. But as we were saying, we have to watch.
watch the line to make sure the swelling doesn't get any worse. The redness. He's pretty swollen and red right now. He started on the antibiotic and we're headed home. Well, in all, can you see it back there? 